Okay, so um, uh, Isandro asked to coordinate today, so I'll let him go ahead and start coordinating. <laughs> <laughs> and as part of his um his requirement, right? So um, so you know you know you how class usually starts. So Isandro, you could take it away, and then you would introduce me for devotion. All right. Okay. Um. So we can start with three courses one to one there. We have to do something before that. All right. Uh, okay. Um. And the sister, can you pray to open up? Open up okay. okay. So let's pray. Pay attention. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, dear Lord, for bringing us out to adventures today. Help us to learn something good about you for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Okay, so we will be doing three courses. Who would like to volunteer? Go ahead, and sing, go ahead and sing three songs. We don't have the time for waiting. If do any song somebody suggests, go ahead. You just go ahead. Um, Jesus loves me. Three, four. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Let the ones who are not Do you want to sing a song? Sure. Jesus okay. loves the little children. Okay. So can you start the song? Jesus loves the little children. Oh, oh, the children, children of the world. Red and black and white, they are precious in the sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Um, anyone else have a song? No? Um, um, you can sing it bubbling. Three, four. It's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling in my soul. I say, it's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's Sing it again. It's a bubbling, it's a bubbling. It's bubbling in my soul. And I'm singing, and I'm shouting. Says Jesus, baby, some folks can't understand it. But I can keep it quiet. It's a and bubbling in my soul. Good. So, Uncle Jerome, will you see the devotion for us? We have to do some stuff before the devotion. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Something we do at the beginning, beginning of every adventure club. All right. Um, uh -huh. Adventure, adventure. All right, so 
expert. So you need to you need to position yourself, right? Because remember, yeah. yeah, we might be online, but we still a club, right? And everyone, everyone, we need to see all where where, where are the cameras and stuff. We need to see all standing at attention. We need to see all presented arms. Come on. Where are my adventurers? And is not standing up. All right. Okay, good, good. All right, Sandra, go ahead. Okay, so, um, the adventure, the adventure, well, attention. Uh-huh. Okay, um, adventure, pledge, three, four. Because Wait, you missed something, you missed something. Sorry, yeah. Try it again. Try it again. Present arms, sir. Come on, try it again. Present arms. Adventure pledge. Because he loves, loves me, me, I will I always fight for the arms. Okay, I'm seeing you ramping all over the place. Go ahead, Jerome. All right, so we are continuing our devotion today. All right, so let me share my screen. Uh, anyone can tell me, can remind me of what the story was about last week, last time, last class we had? Anyone remembers? Or oh, in I fact, the last, the last three classes, actually, the last three devotions, what were they about? Because we're moving on to a new story. Anyone? Anyone can remember? No one? No one was paying attention, right? I know. Uh -huh. But it is Sammy. It is the story of Joseph. Very good. Very good. Very good. So if I could have given you a prize, I would have given you. Because Samuel is the only one listening the last three weeks. No, I gave them a chance. <laughs> gave them a chance. All right, Sam. Yeah. I didn't want to oh, lose them, yeah. All right, so everyone's seen my screen, right? 
Yes. All right, great. Um, let's um, go to um, two. Okay, so the, the, the title of our story is The Prince Becomes a Shepherd. The Prince Becomes a Shepherd. Anyone can figure out what the story, what, what the story is about? Yes, Anna? I saw your hand. You know what the story is about? <laughs> All right, let's find out. Was it? One day, Moses saw an Egyptian beaten a Hebrew slave. Though Moses had been raised and educated as a prince in Pharaoh's palace, he, was, he too was a Hebrew. He had to help the slave. So you see there, Moses, he was a prince, right? A very rich, famous, very famous in Egypt. And he saw one of the masters beaten one of the Hebrew slaves with a whip, and he had to help. Glancing around to make sure nobody was watching, Moses attacked the cruel slave master. In the fight which followed, Moses killed the Egyptian. Quickly, he buried the body. The next day, Moses saw two Hebrews fighting. He tried to stop them. One said, will you kill me as you killed the Egyptian? Moses was afraid. Everybody knew about yesterday. Pharaoh knew, and Moses had to escape. He went to a country called Midian. While Moses rested by a well, the seven daughters of the priests of Midian filled the troughs to water their father's flock. Anybody know what's a well? Anyone can tell me what's a well? I'm seeing yes, Anna, what's a well? A well is a place that you dig a hole and give water. Well, you get water. You get water, right? So basically, you dig this hole, you dig a hole into the ground, you can see it there. And you know where the water comes from? Anyone know where the water comes from? You just dig this hole and water appears. Anyone know where, knows where that water comes from? No? All right, so it's actually, is, yes, it's Andrew, you, you can tell me, you know? Um, from underground. Yes, yeah, so there's groundwater, right? So there's a layer of water that actually below the ground, right? And you can, um, when you when you dig down to it, it's called the water table. You can actually get water from it, right? So it doesn't come from the rain; it actually comes from the ground. Other shepherds tried to push them aside. Moses protected and helped the woman. So you can see he was always a defender of people. He liked protecting people. He like keeping people safe, right? You're home early. Ruel the girl's the, uh, Ruel, the girl's father explained. When the girls explained why why he said, uh, bring the man here. Moses lived with Ruel, who was also called Jethro. Later, Moses married Ruel's oldest daughter. So he found a new place to stay. He left Egypt, where he was a prince, and he found a new place to stay in Midian. Back in Egypt, Pharaoh died. God's people, the Hebrews, were still slaves. How they groaned in their suffering. How they prayed for God's help. God heard their prayers. Moses did not know it, but God planned to use him to help the enslaved Hebrews. Forty years had passed since Moses left Egypt. He was a shepherd of real, um, he was a shepherd of real blood, but he must have missed his own people in Egypt. So 40 years, he left Egypt and was a shepherd for 40 years, but he still remembered his people because his people, he was Hebrew, his people were, he, were the Hebrew people and they were still enslaved in Egypt. One day Moses notes, noticed a nearby bush on fire, but the fire did not burn the, burn the bush. Moses decided to find out why. As Moses approached, God called him God called him out of the bush. Moses, here I am, said Moses. Don't get too close, God said. Take off your sandals because the place where you are standing is holy ground. I will send you to Pharaoh to bring my people out of Egypt, God said. But Moses was afraid to go. Then God showed Moses his great power. 
he turned Moses' rod into a serpent or a snake, right? When Moses picked up the serpent by the tail, it became a rod once more. God gave another sign. Put your hand on your chest, he commanded. Moses did so. His hand turned white with leprosy. When he did it again, his hand was healed. So God was showing him that there was no need to be afraid, right? So he gave him the instruction. He told him to go down to Egypt, but he was, he was afraid. So he said, here's what, you know, I can show you my power. And he showed him his power. And Moses was paying attention at this point. Moses still objected. Objected. I don't speak well, he told God. God became angry. I'll use Aaron, your brother, to speak the words you tell him, he said. Moses returned to Jethro, packed his belongings, and left for Egypt. God led Moses' brother Aaron to meet Moses in the mountains. Moses told Aaron all about God's plan to set the Hebrew people free from the Egyptians. Together, they carried the news of the Hebrew, to the Hebrew leaders. When Moses showed the sign to the Hebrew elders, they knew God would help them. Together, they bowed in worship. So he is back in Egypt now. He is speaking to the Hebrew people and telling them, here's what, God will deliver you. Bravely, Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh. God says, let my people go, they told him. I will not let Israel go, Pharaoh answered. He would not obey God. God would have to use his great power to change Pharaoh's mind. And that's it for now. <laughs> so next week, we'll continue this story. All right? So make sure you are here. If you want to read the full story, if you want to go to the Bible, remember this was a very short vision. A lot of stuff happened actually. Exodus 2 to 5. Exodus chapter 2 to chapter 5. All right? So y'all can... Even uh, do it as part of your reading awards. I hope you're all doing well with your reading awards. All right. So that was our devotion for today. All right. The story of Moses. And I hope you all remember it because I'll ask some questions next time. And we'll see exactly who remembers. Okay. All right, so we're getting into our content today, for today, our class for today. And I believe um, we started with the little lamb, the little lamb stuff, just the introduction. Or... Okay. Yeah. So the only little lamb I'm seeing is Jandai. So Auntie K, is Auntie K next, next to you, Jandai? Call Auntie K. Auntie K. Hi. 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 Yes. So Auntie Hi. K, I have some material for for Jendai, but um, our class is supposed to go an hour and a half, right? So I will pass. I will pass for you this evening and give you the file. Okay. Okay. That's not this. Yes, that's a book, but I have I have a PowerPoint presentation for her. Oh, okay. Yeah, of it's what is in is what? Yeah, yeah, look look on the screen. So, right. So some. So this is my God. Let's go to the next slide. So you see, it's little, supposed to have a song in this one. Little mm, my God. Yeah, my God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so there's some songs. So, in there. so it has some songs and stuff in it, right? Good for her. And um, like the story of Jesus. So I have to bring it to you because we can't, and you will really have to do this. So I'll give you that, right? And um, we don't need to do all one time. So, okay. you know, I you could do it. at least. Yes, so you could do at least the, the all right, Jendai, Auntie K is listening, right? So you could do the first three and then the next two and then the next two, all right? Okay. So I will drop that off for you. No problem. 
Yeah, but she could stay on and watch what we're doing. All right. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gender, yeah. Right. Go ahead, Jerome. So let's start oh, today. Yeah. All right. So everyone, we are about to get into our content, um, our class content for today. So, um, anyone, y'all can tell me the section of the book, the section of the workbook that we are on right now. Anyone knows? Well, I've done some requirements for it already, but what is the section of the workbook that we're on right now? So there are four sections, and the first one is any adventurer. Any adventure? Yes. I'll just one. You know? Tell me, Sandra. No. I'm not too sure what's happening today. Y'all are here? Y'all are wrong? Are y'all sleepy? You're tired? You want to go in your bed? I'm going to take no feedback from anyone except Miss Andrew sometimes. Hello? My God. <laughs> yes, my God. All right. All right, so um, so we are in the my God section of the book. All right, so let me just put up the PowerPoint, and we have some, we have some stuff to do today. We have some games to play, and uh, we have some text to learn. Right, so remember the first thing always. We always put God first. So we have, we are starting with the my God section, right? But eventually. Um, we move on to others, and the part of um, part of, of the my God requirements is the um, the story chat that we would have done. We would have done last class, right? Uh, so I hope you all are coloring. I hope everyone is coloring their story chat. You're supposed to make your booklet, right? And also, um, from the basic requirements, you have to do your quiet time and your reading award, right? So um, the videos are up on the YouTube channel if you need a refresher on what we would have done in the previous classes. But uh, the, the, the activities in the book, the activities in the book, are, they still need to be done, right? Okay, so we're moving on to, to, to the class today, and we'll be it will be a very it will be a Bible-based class, right? We're starting off with the Bible. So the first thing I need you all to do is grab your Bibles. Everyone needs to put to grab their Bibles. Everyone needs to grab their Bibles and let me see your Bibles. Let me see your Bibles. Everyone, everyone, everyone. You may not be coming to class, but you still have to follow the rules of the Adventure Club, which is, <laughs> well, they probably don't even remember anymore. All right, very good, Isandro. Let me see the rest of Bibles. Let me see your Bibles. All right, I'm seeing one Bible, two. All right, yes, good, good, good. This is my I'm, Bible. I'm seeing Sephira name, but I haven't heard a word yet. I hope Sephira has a Bible. All right, and you need to keep your Bibles close because we're also going to play a game of draw swords um, later on in, after, um, after we go through the, the content, all right? All right, so let's go. Um, the first thing that we want to do is some Bible care tips, some Bible care tips. Now, you, you need to take care of your, of all books, of, every, of all your possessions, as a matter of fact, right? Books are very, they are a bit delicate, right? They tend to, um, if you don't take care of them, they tend to, to tear and, you know, they could get dirty or stained. But the Bible especially, the Bible is God's holy book. So you have to be very careful with how you handle it. Right, so for this this um this requirement is on a busy bee, but uh, 
anyone can tell me, right? Because most of you would have done the BTB class already. Anyone can tell me a few tips. This is the Bible One Award, by the way. Um, anyone can, can tell me a few tips of how you take care of your Bible? How do you take care of your Bible? Um, I'm seeing Malachi. Yes, Malachi. How do you take care of your Bible? What? <laughs> I take care of my Bible. I put on the shelf to keep it safe. You keep it safe. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Anything else? Anybody else? Yes, it's Andrew. How do you take care of your Bible? Um, I just have to give one answer. Hmm. Yes, one answer. Okay, well, I keep my Bible safe by whenever I send this to this, put it in my, in my drawer, so nothing. It, um, it, it can put it on yourself, but what I would think that if it rain and it have a look in the roof, the water could come here. Right. Put it in the, in the cupboard. All right. All right. So, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a few ways. So, we're going to run through some ways. We're going to we'll run through some ways of, of, um, of taking care of your Bible in, our, in, in the first part of our, our session today. All right, so everyone watching on the screen, we're paying attention to the screen. We require, and mm -hmm. everyone I recommend everyone gets one of these, is a Bible cover, right? It's a Bible cover. Now, the Bible cover, what it actually does as the first thing there, right? What a Bible cover does, it keeps your Bible safe from damage, right? So you can zip it up and put it away, and you don't have to worry about it being scratched or anything like that. So a Bible cover is one good way of ensuring that your Bible remains uh, safe, right? Next thing, uh, some people love to write in their Bibles or um, highlight stuff. That's fine. Nothing is wrong with that. You, like to, you might want to highlight a text while you're reading or you want to underline something, use a proper pen or, uh, or the suitable highlighter, right? Now, if you use a marker, what will happen is that it will lead through the other pages. I'm sure everyone has seen that before where um, you write on a page and it comes through on the other side, right? So you need a very light highlighter or light marker if you are going to highlight, right? Next thing, please don't bend the pages of your Bible, right? Please don't bend the pages. You need to use a bookmark, right? So you see this nice bookmark here, right? So you get a bookmark, and when you want to save your page that you are reading, you put, you, put your, um, you put your bookmark between the pages, and you could close your Bible, and you'll be able to find back what you were reading um, right after, okay? Right, next thing. Never eat or drink while using the Bible, right? So sometimes you might uh, have to read something in your Bible and you are eating, so you just decide, oh, I'm just going to eat and drink and read my Bible. And the reason why you don't want to do that is because suppose something spills on it, right? Remember, as I said, this is God's holy book. You don't want to, to um, cause it to stain or damage it with any drink or any type of food that may cause grease stains or anything like that, right? Next thing, and, and some of you would have mentioned it, keep your Bible in a safe place. So you need to have a spot, a safe spot to put your Bible, right? When you are done, you need to put it on a bookshelf or put it in, let's say in the case, in the cover, and you leave it in a spot where you always know where to find it, all right? Next thing is that, when, you, when you're storing, you want to store away from direct sunlight or from any kind, any type of weather conditions, right? So if you have a leak or something like that, don't store it there. You want to store it away from, well, from the open sunlight as well. The sunlight has a tendency to bleach things, right? It could take out, it could take the color out of certain things, right? So you want to ensure that you store it away from those things, any extreme weather conditions, right? So some people, when they are reading, I uh, could probably show you an example, right? So this is, this is a book I have here. It's not, it's not a Bible, but, right? So they tend to do this, right? They do this. So that is not how you should read your Bible. You want to open it, right? Flip through the pages and close it back. 
avoid bending back the pages, all right? Avoid this because what it does, it actually rips the seam, all right? And you want it to last a very long time. You don't want to be having, having to buy a new Bible every week, okay? So keep your Bible safe um, and don't bend back those pages, right? Um, another thing people tend to do, right? And something my grandmother used to do, she used to store a bunch of things in the Bible. So she'd have little texts and little inspirational scenes and stuff sticking into the Bible all over, right? Causing it to get like the image you see in it, you see in there, right? So besides the bookmark, there's no need to store anything else in the Bible. Um, if you want to store something somewhere, you could get a little case and put all your extra papers in there. But there's no need to put all the pages and all the little extra things that you get. There's no need to stick it into the Bible, right? And overall, treat your Bible well, right? You, one thing, uh, when I was growing up, my mother always taught me, put your Bible needs to go on top of everything, right? So some, when you are packing your books, the Bible should be the first one on top. Also, you don't want to rest and anything don't, on it. And don't put anything on top of your Bible. Yes, right? Don't, don't rest anything. Don't use it as a stand. Don't use it as a table. Don't do anything like that, right? You want to ensure that you always treat your Bible well overall. All right, so that, um, that was, I think that's the last point here, right? Uh, so that was BCB. Um, let me just make sure. I'll give you all the page. So part of the Bible One Award, which is the BCB class. All right. The uh, number two, right? Requirement number two, explain how to show respect for the Bible and how to care for it. Explain how to show respect for the Bible and how to care for it. All right. So um, where are the BCBs? Busy bees, you know who you are? Hmm. Malachi? How to take care of your Bible. Right. So you're on page 15 in your book. You have your book in front of you? All right, and uh, Matthias, I believe. Matthias, busy bee? Yes, Matthias is in busy bee now. Yes, sir. Right, so you, you, um, you have your Bible, right? You don't have it. You don't have it right now, all right. So, um, so he, um, right, yes, you don't have your, um, your book, right. So uh, when you... Get it? Well, we'll remind you when you get your book, right? Um, page 15, requirement number two, you have to cross out the picture that don't belong. All right, so Malachi, cross out the picture that don't belong. So there's a picture with, uh, there are three pictures, right? And you need to cross out the pictures that don't belong. So um, you can do that, right? So um, you tick, you have to tick one because you own your Bible, you own a Bible, and then two. I explain how to show respect for the Bible and how to care for it. So that's what we just did. And then three, um, well, um, part of two is cross out. Uh, cross out that, doesn't, that the picture doesn't belong. All right, so also, um, while we on it, um, either Malachi or Matthias, can you tell me requirement number three? Can you tell just, me? And Jerome, I just say who Malachi is, if it's Malachi oh, Alexander it's like, or... Um, um, Manswell. No, sorry. Ma Matthias Manuel Mal Malachi Alexander, right? Right. Malachi okay. Alexander. Malachi E. I right, just... Hold on one sec. <clears throat> I'm not seeing which of 
Yeah, um, I just change and. Right, so. So um, uh, Malachi Alexander, right? Oh, Matthias, can you all, can you tell me um, requirement number three, the first and the last books of the Bible, and who wrote that? The first and the last books of the Bible, and who wrote that? So, what is the first book of the Bible? Easy B. Genesis. Genesis. Genesis, right? Okay. Um, so since um I guess I guess Matthias will have to answer the other one. What's the last book of the Bible? Revelation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. All right, so anyone can tell me anyone can tell me who um who wrote the books? Anyone from, from the entire class. So who wrote Genesis and who wrote Revelation? Who wrote Revelation? Can you, can you repeat that for me? Wrote. He said John. John? John wrote Revelation. Yes, very good. All right. Yeah, so John wrote the book of Revelation. And who wrote the book of Genesis? Anyone can tell me that? Who wrote the book of Genesis? I'm seeing Sophia I'm Jerome. I'm here. Take off, um, take off, um, my K sound. Right, great. So take off. Good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, Sophia? No, it's Moses, very good. All right. So Moses wrote Gen Moses wrote the first book of the Bible, Genesis. John wrote the last book of the Bible, Revelation. All right. So um, busy B, you need to fill that out. Fill out that information. Number three, you need to fill out that information. All right. All right. So moving on. Right. So we're going to play um the first of one of two games, the first of two games, right? And this is a Sunday, my requirement, I believe. I think it's a requirement of all of them. They, they act out, or two, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Right, so, um, so we have some stories here, we have some stories, and all you have to do, right, all you have to do is act it out, right? You, you act out a scene or you act out um, a part of it, right? So you act it out for us. And once you act it out, you get to choose who acts out the next one, <laughs> right? So once you act it out, once you act out one, you get to choose who acts out the next one. It but is, you um, act it out properly, <laughs> right? Okay, it's out. only Busy B and Billers have to, B no, busy, busy B and Helping Hand have to act out. Busy B and Helping. Can everyone do it? Yes. Oh. Yes, anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. All right. So I'm going to turn to the next slide. All right. And you'll see the names. And let me hear, let me see who will, will who will be the first volunteer. Who will be the first volunteer for and you oh and when you volunteer you can choose you can choose which one you want to do. All right. I'm seeing Sandra's hand up. All right, so we let Sandra go first, our advanced helping hand. We let him go first. And he can choose which one he wants to do. And once he does it properly, and he does a good a little role play for us, just about a few seconds, just about 10 seconds. It doesn't have to be that long, right? You can choose who you want to um, who, who you want to act out the other one. And they can choose which one they want to do. All right, so we have creation, we have Jesus comes again, we have the first sin, we have heaven. And we have Jesus cares for me today, all right? All right, so you ready? Let's go. Which one are you doing? Oh, we have to guess? No, that's what happened. Um, no, uh, okay. okay, yeah, if you just do one. Oh, you have to guess? Yeah. 
Okay, fine. Yes, we could guess. We could play. We could we could change it to charades. Yes. Is that it? Oh, oh I thought you all have to guess who who was born. No, you first. You have to talk and we'll guess. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, well, this one is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you just need that or something? Yeah, you want to, you want to give us a little bit more than that. <laughs> um, um, Jesus comes again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. So he was descending. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> so who's the next All right. person? All right, Sandra, you pick um, who who is next. Okay, so well, people can volunteer and I'll too. Yeah. yeah, who's the next person? Um, no, you can pick who's the next. <laughs> That's Safira. Okay, well, Safira hands up. Safira. Hands up. <laughs> yeah, Safira. All right, Safira. All right, Safira. Let's see. <laughs> So Jesus comes again and scratched off. We have four more to do. Oh, she have an apple in her hand. <laughs> and she ate, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so that's what's supposed to be the first sin? But Andy, I say you can't, you can't choose oil. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting all the answers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Okay. So yes, yes, yes. The person. All right. Very good, Safira. All right. So you can choose who you want to go next, Safira. Layla. 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 All right. So Layla. Layla, you act out one, and we'll guess. Two down, right. and you have three more. Let's see. Um, Marka is going to help Leila with hers. Yeah, no problem. All right, no problem. Wait, you you yes, Susan, put the camera on. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Susan, Molly. Go ahead, Molly. Go ahead. Yeah, say. Say. E. E. Do you want the E one is me? Kind of. No, God said not to eat it. That I okay, like. um, oh, uh, that one was done already. Safira just did that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have to, you, you could choose another one. Choose the next one. Lila, who are you? Well, I, I, I trust this out to everyone. No, no, that that's when those are the. Okay. Lila, and Mali, which one are you going to do now? You got one? We're not right, here. So they got one, they're going to, yeah, they're going to go ahead and do it now. Okay, great. All right, let's see. All right, so go ahead. Yes. Sit down and then. Yeah, like here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shot. Thank you. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can guess it? Come on, um, I give you a chance. Sana? I think, I think Shanice's hand is up. Who is, can someone stop join? Who's joining on the screen? That is, um, is Andrew. Please don't do that. <laughs> don't I'm do the, that, is Andrew. Yeah, but don't nobody answers. Answer. Nobody answers yet, um, 
thing. Yes, Sana, what it is? No. Oh, Sana, oh, she's going to app. No, I want to know what it is that did. They Nobody just did one, and anyone can guess what it is? Jesus came for me today. All right, very good. Was it that? Was it that? Yes. All right. Yes. yes. Great. All right, All Sana, right. go ahead and act. Uh, they chose. They chose Sana. Oh, they have to. Oh, sorry. I I jumped in. Sana. Sana. I saw the act. <laughs> I saw the yes. Yeah, three more. Yeah, three more. Wait, two more, sorry. All right, you can do that again. <laughs> I miss it. Yeah, you can talk, eh, by the way. <laughs> you can speak. Well, my actor doesn't really have anything to do with talking. Okay. All right, yeah, go ahead. Sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anything that's else? it? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's all? Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What do you think it is? Creation. Is it? Hmm. Okay, well, explain the acting for me. <laughs> I think it was light. Was it let there be light? <laughs> no, um, I think it was. Um, I was forming something. <laughs> okay. All right, okay. All right, so by default and the process of elimination, we can figure out um, the last one. We can know what the last one will be. So anyone wants to act out heaven for us? Uh, who didn't get a chance? Sammy. Sammy, you want to act out heaven for us? Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Your, your, let's see you act out heaven for us. Come on, act it out. Welcome, you're my good and faithful servant. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> All right. good. Okay, so um, so yes, um, that was that was our first. Okay, game. Right, so. We just would have, we'd have done, um, let me just get the requirement for you all. Four, right? Um, number four for BZB, right? BZB number four, you can complete that one, just tick it, right? And put the date's date. And yes, put the date, put the date by it, right? For BZB. Okay, so um, we are moving on. We're going to learn some text now. We are going to learn some memory verses. And it is a lot, but we, we wouldn't memorize all right now, right? But um, as time passes, we expect that you all will start memorizing these. It's usually done. It's usually done. Um, over the course of um, of my God, right, where you begin to learn some of these, right. So um, let's go. Let's go with the first one, and we're going to read it out together. So unmute your mics, and let's read out. Let's read out the first one together. Um, before they meet the mics, um, uh, they need to, they, uh, the problem is that we don't. We, I did not put the the text. The text, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they need to know where the text it comes from. Right. That is it, right? So if they could say where those where the where it come from, it will be good. Yes. 
have an idea. So the first one is from BCB class, open all the books and try and figure out which one is one, which. All right. Okay, so, so that's- And it's not in order too. I didn't put it in order. Right. Okay, so we're reading. Everyone together. Everyone. Unmute their mic. And if I go. And if hold on, hold on, hold on together. Play a play for you. Hold on. All right, let's go together. Three, four. And, and if I go and share a place for you, I will, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That's that what I am. There will be also. There you may be also. So anyone can tell me where that was? Yeah? Anyone can tell me where it came from? John 14. Yeah, John 14, John, what? John 14, what? John 14, 3. All right. Now, the, the children that is in Builders and um, Sunbeam supposed to know this, right? I hope all you know that because this is BCB. And also, Isan, you're supposed to know these texts because we have learned these texts before, mm -hmm. right? So I expect you all to be answering these things mm -hmm. that we ask, okay? Right. All right. Um, yes, we have a lot of builders on, actually. Um, right. We're more focus on Sunday, right? Now, but and Sana, you just passed busy B. You're supposed to know these texts in Sunbeam. Ah, Sunbeam, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, so um so next one. The next one right next to it. All right, let's go uh, let's all go together. Three, four. The, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd. shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want. All right. So anyone can tell me where that is taken from? This is taken from um Let's see three. Uh huh. Psalms. Psalms twenty-three one. Psalms twenty-three one. Twenty-three one. Right. Very good. All right. So um. So these are these are some texts that you all should know. Uh, I don't think it's, it's it's pretty popular, right? Let's go with the next one. Next one in the corner there. Hold on, hold on. And three, four. Four. For he shall give her she shall give her over thee. To keep thee in all thy ways. Right. Yeah. 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 Psalm 9111, right, Psalm 9111. All right, so that was three from uh, the bill, the, um, sorry, the busy bee. And they're supposed to know the last one. Yes, so that is exactly. easy one. that's the easiest one. Right? They could just yeah, say where that text comes from. In the Bible. So what, Psalm anyone can tell me where the last one is taken from? Psalm 316. Right. Right, Psalm 316. All right, so busy bee. My All right, nice. So busy bee, busy bee. Where my busy bees at? That's Matthias and um, Malachi, Alexander. I'm here, and y'all. Busy bee. Let me know y'all here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. So number five, number five in your book, that is on page sixteen. Page sixteen, number five. What you need to do is match the text. So we would have just done three out of five for y'all. So you need to match the text. You need to go and you read the text and you match it. Right? 
No, sorry. I um. No. no this is to read. Sorry, yes. Yes, yes they read. need to read the text and they're supposed to memorize at least yes. two of right. them. So, yes, that's what this video, that's what you all need to do for next week, right? Um, we have five texts here. You memorize at least two of them. Four texts. Yeah. Well, oh, the other two is one. Um, one is their choice. One is their choice. Right? Right. And you memorize it. Okay. All right. So, so um, Busy B, you all can work on that for your homework. That's page 16 in your book. Uh, let's go to Builder, right? So, we have a lot of Builder here. Builder here Sunbeam. Right you have Sunbeam. Yeah, Sana. The, um... Uh, okay, hold on. No, this is um. I'll come back to the Sunbeam actually. Let me. Okay. Yeah, All let right. Me, let me do the the five because I had it up already. Okay. Right. So um, builder, right? So let me let me see my builders. Where where are my builders? But you have to go to the next slide. Yeah. Yeah, on Sunbeam slide. Builders. Yes. We have, I think we have the most builders here right now, actually. The most, the, the most represented, right? Okay, so, yeah. so builder, you all, builders, you all have your books? Yes. Yeah. Right? So you're going down to page, you're going down to page 13. All right, and um, page 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. yeah. Right, to the page 13, and there are six texts. Well, five, five texts actually, and one is your choice, but you only have to explain three. Right, you only have to explain three. Now, I'm not going to, um, I, I you have this, them. so you all could, you all could organize your business, right? And I'll let you all do this, um, when we're gonna move back to Sunbeam, but. Let's just do two. Let's do two, two of these, right? Let's do two of these on the, on the screen right now. You'll tell me where they are taken from, right? And then what I want you all to do is go and find the rest, and you will you have to write some meanings in a book, right? So what, what how you write it out, right? Let's say you say in Acts sixteen thirty one. After you read Acts sixteen thirty one, you'll say Acts sixteen thirty one mean um thirty one means that I so and so and so and so. You have to write the meaning in there. Right? You all understand? Builders? Yes, Uncle Jerome. All right. So let's go. Um, let's go with the second one for the law, right? So we read in that one and the, the second one. Let's go um, all together. Three, four, four. four the law was given. I only hear one voice. Come on, let's try again. Everyone, three, four, four. But the law was given what, by what is going on here? But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Right, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So anyone can tell me where that is taken from? Any builder? You have your Bibles in front of you? Where, where you think it might be taken from? You have your book in front of you. Any one of those texts is in front of you there. Yes. All right. So you all know, because I think these are the first 15 minutes. So I will tell you, it's coming from John 1, 12. Mm -hmm. All right. One. Okay, so. John one. John one. One twelve. It is one okay. twelve. Right. So you all need to find it. Right, and you will write the meaning. Well, not that one necessarily, but you'll you'll um any tree that you choose. All right. Number three. The third one there, yeah, everyone should know this one. Everyone should know this one. Let's go with number three. Three, four. 
Fit. Fit and me. Fit and me. I clean heart all over. And me. 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 And but then me. Anyone know where that is taken from? Anyone can tell me where that one is taken from? Yes, is Andrew. Psalm fifty-one ten. Psalm fifty-one ten. Very yes. good. Okay. So builders, y'all, builders, y'all can do this now actually, or you can do it for your homework. But you need to fill out that entire page there, right? You need to go find text, read it out, and you can. Work, um, work on that. When you are done, you put the date that it was completed and you have your parents sign off on it. All right? Mm -hmm. That's page 13. Page 13, one yeah. tree, page 13. All right? Yeah. And tell Uncle, just think one thing there too, though. For the, for the page for, um, for John 1, 12, I think it should really be John 1, 17, you know. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. No, they changed it. It's very John 1, 12. It's, it's supposed 1, 12, to be, but... Yeah. but okay. um. Uh, when when I was putting it in, it I was doing Second Corinthians five seventeen. So sorry about that. All right, yeah. All right thanks. Yeah, yeah that, that's mm -hmm. okay. Right, so it's John one twelve, but yeah, you all can look it up and and, um, and right. So this, all right, yeah. so so builder builders the next thing, fourteen page fourteen, right? There is a word search. There's a word search game, right? And all you are doing is finding the names of the books in the New Testament, right? So once you are completed with that, once you are completed with, let's say, any, put in the, say the meaning of each text, you will complete this, um, the, the word search. On page 14, there's Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, all the books of the, who, of the New Testament. You just go and you circle it. Well, you all can do word search, right? And that will be... Um, Two re well, two two of the requirements for the for um for my God, all right, all right, builders, you all hear me? All right, so page thirteen and fourteen, you all need to work on those, right? All right, so let's touch on Sunbeam quickly, and um we'll do we'll do part of our um of our draw swords, right? Part of our draw swords because we are reaching our time limit, right? So, um, and then next week we'll continue exactly where we left off, and we'll get into some stuff with um with helping hand, uh, some more stuff with builder, some more stuff with sunbeam as well, and then we'll do more draw swords, right, for our next class, right? So we kind of just split in the Bible one and Bible two requirements into two, All right? Okay, so sunbeam. <clears throat> Right, we'll do two texts for Sunbeam. And where are, I think we only have one Sunbeam. No, sorry, two. No, one. Oh, yeah, we need Sana here. Okay, so Sana. Sana. Is Sana sleeping? Hey, Jerome. She's not feeling too well, so she just went to the washroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, all right. We just okay, so um, yeah. let me just give you the page number. Mm -hmm. all right. Um, let me just get it. The it's 15. Page 15, right? Page 15. Yeah. One five. Okay, right. no problem. So, so Sunbeam is the match, right? So where you have to match the text with the, um, with the, with the description on the right-hand side, right? So it's no. four texts no and one of your choice, and you just match. You match the four texts with the four um, description. So we actually have it here. We have we actually have it here. And um, well, since she's not here, I'll just read it out, and um, anyone can see which um, where it's taken from. So let's go with the first one, right? The first one on the screen there. First one on the screen there. Together we go in together. Everyone, where everybody disappear? All right, let's go. Mike's Mike's unmuted. 
Yeah. And we're going. Um, no. First, first text. Three. You confess. Three, four. If we confess. I'm not hearing anyone. If we confess our sins. Faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Our sins. And to, and to cleanse, cleanse us from, from all, all unrighteousness. Right. Okay. Okay, so um, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Anyone can tell me where that is taken from? First John 1 9. First yes. John 1, 9. All right, Sammy. Very yes, good. that's very well, Sammy. What? And Mommy said to leave it alone, didn't she? Hello, someone said something. Oh, okay. All right, so let's go with the second one. Uh, no, in fact, let's go with the the one right below if we confess our sins for the wages. Right? So everyone together, three. For, for the wages of sin, wages of sin is, is death, death. but the, the gift of God, God, gift of God is eternal life, life, life through Jesus, Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ our, our Lord. Lord. All right. So anyone can tell me where that was taken from? Romans 6. I'm here. Yes. Like Shanice, she's saying Romans 6, Please, what? Right? Romans 6, what? 23. Yes, 23. Correct. 23. All right. Okay, so, um, so busy B, I'm sorry, Southern Beam, you all know, you know, you have your homework and you have your stuff to do, just match the text. And when you are done, as usual, you sign it and you um sorry your parents sign it and they write date so we know when it was completed great all right so hey, yes no problem so we um so that's we'll continue with these next week we'll continue with all the text and stuff next week but we want to play a bit of draw swords right so we have some text here so i'm showing you all all the text that we need to find I'm coming back right everyone see and i will tell you all which one so now you grab your bibles everyone grab your bibles you need to point your camera if your camera isn't on and you know how to hold your bible and let's play let's just do about three or four texts because we were not a little long right and then we will close off for this week and we'll continue exactly where we left off next week. So all, all, all with Bibles, all with Bibles, and we want to play your swords. Let's see your Bibles. Let's put them up in the air. Hold them up properly. Remember your hand needs to be on the seam and not on the pages. Can you see yourself? <laughs> nope. Pull up a Bible. Right? Okay, so how it works? I will call out the text. You find it, right? And you begin to read immediately. The first voice I hear will be the winner. The first voice I hear. So if your mic unmuted and you say, it unmute and you say, never hear you because the mic was mute. The first voice I hear will be the winner. All right. So unmute your, unmute your devices. All right, so y'all see, y'all see all, right? Y'all see all, y'all see? Have all there, so no excuse. <laughs> all right, so we are going with the verse is 11. The verse is 11. The chapter is 91. Verse 11, chapter 91. And the book is Bibles Up. Bibles Up. Psalms. The book is Psalm. Draw a sword. 
sounds like you're in the right place. No boy. What's what? Ninety-one, ninety-one. <laughs> 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 Alright. Okay. That's Sammy. That's Sammy. Sammy voice face, yes. <laughs> we shall give his angel. Boy, he over you. shall give his angel mm -hmm. courage over the charge over the to get the in all the ways. <laughs> all right, thanks. Let me get one point. Thanks. But I heard Sammy voice first, all right? Okay, so Sammy gets a point. Very good, Sammy. I'm seeing a hand waving. I am. Um, yes. Can you hear me? Huh? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so Tira started before Sammy, but I don't know if you were hearing. The, the, the um, thing would highlight when she talked, and Sammy was the first one. Yeah, we, we, we'll see it highlighted. It, it, yeah, Sorry, it is, the, the, the first thing does highlight when they talk, so he was the first one to, to talk. <laughs> I, I'm seeing everybody, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have... Do we have more? We have more, don't worry. She has a chance to... Tell her to talk loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go on to the next one. The chapter is two. Chapter two. Bible's up. Bible's up. I'm not seeing any Bibles. I'm not seeing any Bibles. Bible's up in the air. Bible's up. Bible's up. The chapter is chapter two? The chapter is two. Bible up. All the Bibles up in the air. I wouldn't continue if I didn't see the Bibles up. Bibles closed as well. So um, move up the drawers and slide. Oh gosh. Full of steam. Chapter two. Chapter two. You're going back again to the church. The verse. The verse. It's 13. The verse is 13. Chapter 2, verse 13. And the book is Philippians. Just what? Philippians. New Testament. New Testament. New Testament. No. Hmm? Wait, verse two, verse what? Two fifteen. I can do all things through Christ. Oh, no. I can't. Oh my God. <laughs> I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Wait, what? Get that. What? This is it. Um, find back to book. So I find back to book. Philippians two thirteen. Who? What is it again? Philippians okay. two It is God who works in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Philippians 2.13. Yeah. What Philippians is not 2.13. It's not, um, yeah. No, no, that's not Philippians. Philippians 2.13. Yeah, that's exactly the, the, um, the slide says 2.13, but I think it's supposed to be 4.13, but, um. 2.13. But 2.13 is actually what Sana for. Two thirty four. It is God which yeah yeah will get a new boat yeah to well and to do for His good pleasure. Well, good book, but, yeah. Right. So Philippians two thirty. Sana got it. Right. All right. Very good. All right. All right. So we do one more and then we close off. So everyone, let me see again faces. Let me see again faces. This for the winning point here. This for the winning point. Bibles up. 
I ain't seen Lila Bible. Lila, you don't play? All right, Bible's up, Bible's up. All right. Um, oh, I have four and two. That's yes, it have four and two, but you call 213. <laughs> yeah, I call 213. Yes, All right. All right, so let me decide, let me decide. The book is now. Nah, I'm gonna start with the book. The chapter is three. The chapter is three. The chapter is three. Right. Because the wrong kind of place you did. I I I left in it completely. You see that? I I I left in it completely. <laughs> right. you, you came in just in time. Time, yes. <laughs> so Bible's up. Bible's up. Chapter is three. The chapter. Oh, the wrong number came up. All right. Yeah, me. Yeah, me, Sandro. We go back off again. We have a problem on his side. All right, okay, we need to go ahead. So, the book is three. Sorry, the chapter is three. The verse is 26. The chapter is three. The verse is 26. And the book is Galatians. Draw swords. Uncle Jerome, Uncle Jerome. I didn't, I didn't, of course. Galatians 3 26 is Andrew. Calm down, calm down. Galatians <laughs> what? 326. Galatians. 326. Draw swords. Galatians, where are you? Oh, Lord. <laughs> for, for ye are all the children of oh, God good. by <laughs> faith in Christ Jesus. That is, uh, that is um, Malachi. Man's well. Answer. Oh, yes. answer. <laughs> All right. Very right. good. Very good. I'm taking note. I'm taking note. <laughs> All right. So, so we have a chance to redeem yourselves. You have a chance to redeem yourselves next week, next Sabbath. Next Sabbath at three o'clock. We'll be back again for more draw swords and more. Uh, we have some other games we here as well. And we have some other Bible yeah, texts to learn. Point. Try your best to do the work, to do the activities um, in, the book. In, in your book for next week, right? Right on early, three o'clock, right? And um, we'll continue, we'll do some, we'll do some helping hand, uh, we'll do out some builders as well, right? But we'll be doing, we'll be finishing up the Bible 1 and Bible 2 awards in between Bible 1 and Bible 2 between this week and next week, right? So, um... We would have gone through most of it today, right? So there's not much more to go, right? And uh, um, I hope you all get the chance to sit down and do all those activities this week. Uh, everyone more or less know what they have to do, all right? It's between page 13 and 15 to 16 in most books, right? So just um, focus on, on those things and you should be, should be fine to finish off the my code requirement within time. All right, so let me just ask quickly, who has been doing their quiet time? That's from the first class, who has been doing their quiet time? Right. I have Uncle Jerome. Very good, Sana. Right. I Very have good. Uncle Jerome. Very good, Sammy. Right. And who has been doing their reading award? Anyone has started reading their books for their reading award? Yeah. I have. I say, you start. I say, you put up your hand I read my house book. All right, so that is very good. Right. All right. I right. too. Right. All right. So, so parents, parents, the video for that is up. Um, the video for the first class is up where we go through the basic requirements and then we do the quiet time. 
as well as the reading award stuff. So if you need to review that, you go to the YouTube channel. I would have posted the link below. Uh, second video, which is the list of the My God as the story chat. That's from last class we had, is up on the YouTube channel. I'm going to unprivate it as soon as we finish here. Um, there was some copyright issue with it. I'm not too sure what's happening with that, but um, I'll sort it out. So you just need to go to the YouTube channel and you'll see all the requirements from uh, the, for the story chat as well as um, the booklets and stuff. We, that's the last class that we would have gone through. Right, so parents, just, um, the link is in the group. You just need to follow it for the first one. I'll look out for the link for the second one later this afternoon, right? Okay, so um, I think that is it. Right, second one. All right. Um, um, you know, she wasn't there earlier on, you know, for Shikwan, Eunice. Eunice? Should I hear me? I think she's frozen. Yeah, they're frozen. All right, so I'll have a call. I'll check her. All right, no problem. All right, so our our um guest coordinator. Oh, I think I think she's back now. Yes, you hear me? Eunice? Hear me? I'm not hearing you. Okay, you wasn't here earlier on, but um, the information for Chiquan, I have it. It's a PowerPoint. I'll share it with you, right? I'll come by and share it with you. Okay. So, so you could do it on your own with him. You could show because it's videos and stuff, so you could show it to him, okay? And do the activities. I think I think he already did that part, but still yet I'll give it to you so you could at least show him the video or something. All right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so um yes, yeah, so our guest coordinator. Is that <laughs> mm -hmm. Um yes, so time to close off, right? So we'll be closing off now. So as soon as you're ready. Stan, I want to do something. Okay. What okay, says Sana? So I would like to pray, please. Okay. Like All right. <laughs> so go ahead, Isandro. All right, Isandro. Let's close off. Let's do the closing requirements and wrap up. Okay. Um. Uh, Sana, if you want to, you can speak for us. What, what, what you said, Sandra? Huh? What, repeat what you said. I said that how um uh, how you organize for your first Sunday school. We're not hearing you um, properly, Zanjo. So you, we need to do the three things first before we close off, right? Isn't that what we put in first and then we do in doing the um close off exercise? Which one is Andrew? Um, we go in the we close off exercises, then we we um okay. Right, so, so let's go ahead. let's do the close off exercise, please. Yes, it's Sancho. Go ahead and lead. Not too sure what's going on with his uh, system now. No, no, no. All right, adventures. Attention. One. One. One, one. one. All right, so you have attention everywhere. All right. So let's go with the adventure. Pledge, present arms. Adventure pledge, present arms. Why aren't arms presented? I'm seeing, I'm seeing some arms. Alakaya Lila, present arms, right. right. Okay, they stick there. <laughs> no, okay. All right, so three, four, because. 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 I always do my best. Order arms. I always do my best. Do my best. Mm -hmm. All right, Isandro, go ahead. I've seen you now. Go ahead with um with the law. 
Okay, um, a central law. Three, four. She wants me to be kind, respectful, be helpful, be careful, thoughtful, and be reverent. All right, I had some extra stuff in there, but that's fine. All right, Sandra, go ahead. Okay, um, let's show three, four. We, we are friends. 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 Heavenly Father, we thank you for your beautiful Sabbath afternoon, and we thank you that you are always with us wherever we go, and please be with all of us when when we're hurt, when we're sick, when we're in trouble, please help us to do the right thing and stand up for you. And you are our mighty God. You came to save us from all our wrongs. And please be with all my friends, all my family, all my teachers, all my adventure teachers, all my church family, and everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <laughs> okay, thank you, Sana. Thank you, Sandro. Thank you all for coming out. All right, we appreciate the effort as usual, right? Let's you remember to do your homework. With more fun things, but you're here with us in Adventure Club, yeah. right? So next sure week, too. next Sabbath, next Sabbath, the 20th, if I'm not wrong, right? The 20th, February 20th, we'll be back yeah, again. Right? We'll be back again for another Adventure Club meeting. Until yeah. then, have a safe week. Have a safe and productive week, right? And remember to put God first in everything that you do, all right? So bye -bye. say bye bye's now, bye -bye. right? Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you next Bye. 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 See you next Sabbath. Bye. Bye.